Hello, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Salkin Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzers. Today was a first experience for me. Mr. Larry here, just a few minutes before his new family arrived for Gotcha Day, went and crawled in his water bowl. <laughs> So he got a nice extra blow out, blow dry this morning as they were arriving at the front door. So it is Larry's gotcha day and this is Larry's new family. Yay! So we have been talking for about an hour now and you have asked such great questions about your new little boy. I'm curious of all the things we've been talking about, what really um, struck you, what resonated with you? Well, as you know, I've watched a lot of your videos and the one thing that I hadn't heard is that you should never use the dog's name if you're giving uh, negative feedback or scolding them because they should love their name and always associate their name with doing a good job or being happy. I had, not, I had not heard that. Terrific, that's a great one. So yes, Larry, <laughs> when he's getting affection, when he's being cuddled, we're gonna say, yes, Larry, good boy. When he's doing something great, yes. When he's crossing a boundary, if he's going in a spot he's not supposed to be going into in your home and you're drawing a firm boundary, you won't say his name, you'll redirect him. And if you need to use the word no, feel free to do so. Um, I do have a video on when and how to say no to your dog, but knowing that it's healthy actually to have boundaries with your dog. One of the things I need, I wanna make sure you know, we talked about too, was if he's starting to get protective of you in public places, you're carrying him around somewhere in New York, for example, um, and he starts to feel like he's supposed to be protecting you and he lets out a little growl or a little bark, what are you gonna do? I'm going to turn him around and I'm going to... Yes, oh my that's it. Just for a few seconds, you're going to tell him, I got this. And what you're doing is you're sending out that, I got this energy, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to stand like, I'm in control here. I got this. You don't have to take care of me. You don't have to protect me. Yeah, yeah. great. So I was just asked the question, what's the best way to approach having him meet a new dog? I want you to turn him around and let's imagine my hand is a new dog and you are gonna put his butt, his behind, you can stand facing me, okay. but you're gonna put his behind here, there you go. And you're gonna let the new dog smell his behind. Okay. I know, it's a shocking greeting for human beings. <laughs> Now you're going to turn him back around. And in essence, you're going to ask the other owner to do the same thing. Show us your butt. Turn <laughs> your dog around. Yep. Turn your dog around. Let us let this puppy smell the behind of the other dog. That's right. And so here's, you know, the behind of the other dog is going to get to smell. I'm going to hold the head of the other dog. And now we're going to go for a little walk. You might be carrying him. The other dog might be on a leash or might be being carried. We're gonna walk for about a block in the city, just walking alongside each other. And then a few minutes later, you can let them engage. But it's all about letting them have scent first. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the way puppies play, it's, it sounds like snarling and it's a lot of mouthy stuff. Mm -hmm. Meaning when he's playing with another puppy, it includes this kind of mouthing. He's not actually biting but they're mouthing on each other. And sometimes people who are not familiar with dogs think that they are fighting, and that is not the case. So how do puppies play? They play with their mouths, they experience the world through their mouths, they'll gnaw on each other, but that doesn't mean something bad is going on. Great question. If you're just meeting us for the first time in this video, you can find out more about SVCC Schnauzers on our website at svcctoys.com. I'll point out here that there's an about section, there's a about toy schnauzers, if you wanna understand more about the difference between miniature and toy schnauzers. We have a shop that helps you to identify all the different things that you would need in getting a new puppy of any breed, frankly. Uh, information about our prep school and how we train puppies. Larry, for example, went through a month of our puppy prep school. Then you see this section here about uh, our waiting list process, pricing for our puppies. And if you are wanting to contact us about uh, getting on our waiting list, please reach out.